Dear Brian, the 39th session of the CFS also focuses on the principles for responsible agricultural investment, pride. Why are they needed and how can these principles shape agricultural investments? Thanks Christian and thanks for the opportunity to talk to uh, colleagues and friends on the Global Donor Platform this afternoon. As the chairman of the CFS said yesterday, he wants to ensure that agriculture remains a career for many young people in Africa and in Asia and in Latin America. Uh, we also know from the recent World Bank IMF meetings in Tokyo the emphasis that's been placed on job creation. Now agriculture has a wonderful potential to fulfill those roles as well as contributing to the increasing need for food in uh, developing countries and in urban areas. But what we're seeing though is the increasing need for food and therefore the increasing need for investment in agriculture is that sometimes those investments aren't well planned, sometimes they technically fail, sometimes they become controversial. And so we've worked together with the World Bank, with IFAD and FAO and UNCTAD to develop a set of principles that we want to help guide domestic and foreign investors in how they put funding into the agricultural sector. Could you explain more about the different differentiation between pry and rye and how important it is? Yeah, that, that, th th what I've just been referring to, the work that IFAD, the World Bank, UNCTAG and FAO have done was in, in September 2008, we presented at the side event at the UN uh, General Assembly the principles for responsible agricultural investment. And we've been working on those the last three years to test them to see which are the most in, uh, influential uh, pr proposals and which we need to further work on. In addition to that, so that is what the PRI is. Now in parallel to that there is a, a growing uh, understanding and the need for responsible agricultural investment which is where the RAI comes from. So you could talk about the PRI uh, as, as uh, the principles that, that, that we've developed but then the RAI and some people say well it's the RAI in small case uh, rather than capital letters refers to the general discussion about responsible agricultural investment. You chaired a side event here at the CFS in which current research on the impacts of FDI and RAI on developing country agriculture was presented. What was the main outcome of this event? Well, that was yesterday and, and I think there were, there were several outcomes. One was, I think, a general appreciation that at long last there was some data, some research that was on the table to assess the, the, the quality of investment, the scale of investment, uh, and the impact of that investment on, on, on food production and also on, on cash crop production. There's been an awful lot of debate and controversy around such areas as land grab, which has not really been filled up by, by, by technical studies. So yesterday was the first attempt to start to look at some of the information that's been available from existing investments. What have been the pros, what have been the, the negative aspects of those investments? And I think it also was an opportunity for different stakeholders. We had in that meeting yesterday, we had we had governments. We had an excellent intervention from from Nigeria, for example. Uh, we had interventions from donors. We had interventions from civil society. We had interventions from the private sector. So it really was an opportunity to bring all those stakeholders together and start to look at and discuss what makes good investment from domestic and foreign investors work in, in uh, developing countries. Looking forward, what impacts will the principle have in the future? Do you see investors and governments applying that? Well, clearly we very much hope that they will, if not apply them, then interpret them for their country conditions. Some countries will look at issues, of, for example, the principle that we talk about transparency, and perhaps on a country level think, well, what do we have to do in our parliaments, in our public bodies to improve the transparency, again, about both domestic and foreign investment. Again, a lot of the controversy has been about foreign investment, but the biggest source of private sector funding going into agriculture comes from domestic investors. So we're hoping that then governments will take these uh, principles and adapt them to their, their own particular needs. Private sector will say, what exactly do you mean by uh, environmental sustainability and how should our projects be looking at environmental uh, sustainability and how those projects should be contributing to a broader development impact. We want to develop that conversation with those various stakeholders and support them where possible. 
We are co-chairing the Global Donor Platform as a network of donor agencies. Platform members EFAT, FAO and World Bank have contributed to the formulation of the principles. From your unique EFAT and platform perspective, what can the platform do to promote the principles for the benefit of rural small donors? Well, I mean, that, and there's a key, that's a key challenge and it's a key uh, part of the, the platform's mandate. With its 33 members, we have a wonderful opportunity for those members to take those principles and discuss them within their own donor institutions and have that discussion about what works, what they should apply to their own programs. And then secondly, for those donors to take those principles out into the field to discuss them with their stakeholders, private sector, governments, civil society, parliamentarians, uh, and, and see what needs to be uh, modified, where the constraints lie, the objective, of course, is always to increase the level of domestic and foreign investment going into agriculture to increase food production and household income. So it's an opportunity for our platform members to have a tool that they can take and use to fulfill that objective. Okay, thank, you very much, thank you. It's been a real pleasure.